Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructive play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Oh man, that last game was rough. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can come back from that and get this one. Um, ooh, we can turn, we might be able to turn four combo. We're gonna go ahead and keep this. I almost wish this was a, a non, a non bird. Let's see what we draw here. We draw another Sahili. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play Gilded Goose here. see what we're up against. It looks like Grixis Control, potentially. Yep, Dreadbore on the Gilded Goose. So we're definitely looking for lands here. However, we do have quite a few Planeswalkers. Do I take Oko here? No, we need, we need the lands. We only have two lands. That's unfortunate, but... Alright, pass the turn to our opponent. Our opponent probably has a counter spell now. I'm just going to jam a Sahili here. Oh wow, that resolved. I'll leave that on top. Alright, now we have the combo. If our opponent doesn't have anything, they might just lose here. Oh, they have Thoughtseize for our Felidar Guardian. Wow, that was timely for our opponent. I'm gonna put that one on the bottom. We'll play out the Teferi here. I'm just gonna tick it up at the moment. I'm not sure what we're playing against, so. If we find a land next turn, I can bounce the Othanissa, and then our opponent's not going to be able to respond. All right, let me let me scry first. Put that on bottom. I want to bounce the Othanissa. Oh, we drew another. Oh, and wow, they just concede. I wonder what our opponent's playing against, or like what we're playing against. I'm gonna bring in Veil of Summer here for sure. Uh, I don't think I had my Mystical Dispute. I'm not really sure what their game plan is, though. Maybe, I don't want uh, Deafening Silence, but maybe I want Sorcerer's Spyglass as well. I'm definitely not sure here. Um, they're most likely a control deck, so I don't think I want... Maybe not Heart of Kirin. Brazen Borrow is probably fine. It's a good tempo card. I don't think I want Reflector Mages in this matchup. And I could see cutting... I mean, it's always going to be one of our mana dorks, in my opinion. Just because we have so many, we only need one, and that's in our opening hand. I think we're going to go ahead and submit this. Uh, bring in Veil of Summer Mystical Dispute, and hope hopefully we can get there. Again, I'm not really sure what our opponent's playing. It could be a brew, and that's just not working. It could be uh, something else. Ooh, this hand is risky. But we have to turn to Oko. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the risky game. Th this game could be really bad. Thoughtsies? Thoughtsies us. Duress. Alright, they can get, I guess, something. They're gonna see we kept a one lander. If they don't have anything for the Oko here, they might end up wanting to take the Oko. Oh, they take Veil of Summer. Wow. That's some heads-up magic from our opponent. We actually don't have a turn 2 Oko. If we don't draw a land, we don't have the turn 2 Oko. Do they have another Thoughtseize or another Duress here? Oh, they have a Fatal Push for the Bird. Okay. Okay. Alright, we actually don't draw the land here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and Gilded Goose. That's actually kind of rough for us. So now they probably just kill our Gilded Goose. But if they waste all their stuff on Gilded Gooses, like I'm not... Alright, there's a Thought Erasure from our opponent. They'd probably take the Lanamore Elves here if I were them. Mana Denial. I could see that. If I draw a land next turn, I don't think I'm going to Oko here. I think I might actually uh, Sahili Rai. But we'll see. Well, okay, they took the Oko anyhow. Alright, we already cast a spell this game. I could find another land and then... Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's take... I don't think I want the Aether Hub here. Let's take the Temple Garden. Alright, we'll see what our opponent does here. If they have like a board wipe effect, that might actually be pretty bad for us. We don't have red, so if we want to use anything red, we have to use our Gilda Goose here also. Um, again, not, not ideal. Alright, there's a Wild Slash. We could play a little bit of a slower game by playing Rogue Refiner here. And then holding up Wild Slash, but I think I just want to jam a Sahili. If they have a counter spell for it, so be it. Um, they they don't. I'm really curious what their their deck is. They have like Duress, Fatal Push, Thought Erasure. Oh, they must be a Dragon Control deck. Oh wow, Glory Bringer. They might exert it here and kill Gilded Goose. Oh, they choose not to. Okay. Wow, I was not expecting that out of all the cards they could have had. There's a Yavamaya Coast. Get in for one here. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I couldn't forget about Glory Bringer, but I... I could see it. They could also be playing um, Nicobolus, the five mana planeswalker from War of the Spark. There's a Thoughtsies from our opponent, probably taking the Sahili here, I'd assume. I think that's what I would take. Yep. Two Sahilis down, so we can't just combo off for the win. All right, they're going to exert, probably killing Rogue Refiner. Yep. Or I don't think we're going to block here. Alright, our opponent down the one card in hand, so... Maybe we can... We can wiggle something out. Alright, I'm going to play Aether Hub here. Uh, attack in for one with the Lanamore Elves. Uh, we have Wild Slash in our hand. Um, we have a Guild of Goose on the battlefield. So, hopefully we can gain some life and play for a little bit of a longer game. If we draw an Oko, we can actually uh, Elk the... Elk the Glory Bringer. Alright, there's a Mystical Dispute. Not something we actually wanted here. Alright, we're going to get in for one with the Lanamore Elves. But trying to keep up with this Glory Bringer might be a little rough. Uh, we will be able to make a food per turn and uh, sack the food for a little bit of uh, life back. But if they just keep start exerting the, uh, the Gilded Goose here, that's not going to work in our favor. Alright, they don't. All 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and make a food here and sack a food here. Gain some of our life back. All right, we have Mystical Dispute in hand, so that's actually not a bad one to have. If they have uh, Ojitai or um, or any of the other uh, any of the other dragons, we we definitely want to be able to counter them. Again, this is a little grindy, but we have enough mana where we're making a food and sacking a food per turn, and that's actually uh oh wow they actually negate uh kill the Lanamore elves here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let them uh, hit us with that. All right, they just moved the end step here. All right, we have plenty of mana here, but again, we're looking for the, we're looking for something like Othanissa if we can find it. We're looking for something like uh, Oko. Oko would be a good one here. Wow, they're, they're just thought seizing us here. So they actually are going to be able to see that the ghost is clear. Um, yeah, I guess I wild slash them for, for two here. No point in playing the mystical dispute. Um, they're down the six. We'll create a food here. I guess we'll sack a food. No point in not sacking a food. Oh, here's another wild slash. All right, we're, gonna, we're just gonna pass the turn here. So we actually, we have our opponent down the four, but we'll see what they play here. All right, a dig through time. They probably are going to have something good come out of this dig through time. So this game might end up being over. That's one of the issues with us is we're playing like a more of a green based deck as opposed to a uh, blue based, so They could just have like, okay, there's a Chandra. I was gonna say they could just have like another uh, glory bringer. Oh wow, they're actually killing our, uh, our goose here. I'm only gonna sack one food here. Um, if we draw an Oko, ah, we drew another inspiring vantage. Uh, this is really unfortunate. I do not, I, not a fan here of all the lands we're drawing. Do you wanna play Jace? They do. All right, so this is more of a Grixis control deck um, from the looks of it. There's Felidar. There's nothing even the bounce though. Like what? There's nothing I could bounce here. I guess we could find Sahili next turn, so we just wait. Target player sacrifices a creature. If you reveal a dragon, you gain four life. Mm. I don't think that's worth it. Maybe they play it just so they can... Sure. Did they reveal a dragon? Wait, what? Hmm. 
Oh, they mm. control a dragon. So they just gain four life. Okay. That's understandable. So if we find a Sahili here, we might actually win the game. They don't seem to be a heavy counter deck. All right, there's a Brazen Borrower, actually. So we're going to go to the end of the turn. We're going to let them... We're going to let them loot with Jace. And in response to looting, I think we're going to Wild Slash Jace. And then we're going to... Uh, all right, the ghost seems clear, so we're gonna go ahead and brazen borrower the uh, Chandra. What? Oh, they control a dragon. Dang. This. Not ideal. <laughs> we might just lose next turn now. Because they're hitting us for four, and then they have the Chandra emblem. That's unfortunate. Alright, so they're going to deal five to us. We gotta just hope they have two lands in hand. If they have anything instant speed, then they just win. We'll go down to two. Come on, Sahili off the top. Alright, they, they, yeah, they have, yep. Okay. Good game, opponent. So that was, uh, that was actually pretty grindy. That was grindier than I thought it was gonna be. Um... So, now that we know they're more of a dragon control deck, what do we like here? Righteous Surge isn't bad, but we only saw Glory Bringer. So, Sorcerer's Spyglass probably isn't bad, because if we can name Chandra at the very least. Veil of Summer is definitely a good card. I think we just run this back. Um, I really don't see anything I'm loving in the sideboard that I would prefer. Maybe a Rest in Peace, but again, that's just for Jace. Um, Alright, so we have Once Upon a Time here to get a land if we want it. We have a potential turn to Oko. I think we're going to keep this hand. Uh, we'll start with Once Upon a Time, though. Um, do I just take the Botanical Sanctum here? I'd probably take the Temple Garden. Turn one, Gilda Goose. Let our opponent go to their turn. Um, then we have the option of Mystical Dispute or Veil of Summer. Alright, there's a Duress. So our hand is pretty loaded, though. So I'm not too worried about this. Um, again, they either take the Oko or they get turn 2 Oko'd. So it's up to them. If they have a Dreadborn hand, though, it'd probably just take the Veil of Summer. Alright, they do decide to take the Oko here. I'm going to start with an Othanissa here. Alright, we'll take the Lanamore Elves since that's the only thing we can take. We'll go ahead and play it and pass the turn back. We'll hold up Veil of Summer just in case they want to... We'll see what they want to do here. Veil of Summer, I think I would only do that if they target one of our creatures with uh, a removal spell. 
other than that, I don't really love Veil of Summer. Um, if they're going to thought seize us, they're going to thought seize us. Uh, if they want to take the Veil of Summer, that's fine. If not, uh, we have Mystical Dispute. All right, I'm just going to let them go ahead and thought seize us. We don't have anything in hand that we want to protect. Um, so. All right, there's an Oko. Mr. Broko Oko himself. So we'll see here what our opponent has, um, if they have a removal spell. Yep. Uh, now we at least have pressure on our opponent, though. I'm not going to play... Planamore Elves here. Uh, not this turn, at least. I'm going to go ahead and attack for three. And we'll leave up Mystical Dispute. Um, and if they don't do anything, we're going to go ahead and sneak in a... Uh, food here then next turn we can replay Lanamore elves and uh have access to our mystical dispute as well not replay but play the second one um i guess it's the same thing i guess they don't get the surveil so here I can actually Mystical Dispute this, and then I can also make a food. Um, so I think that's probably fine. All right, our opponent taking their life total down to 10 here. They are going to Thought Erasure us. Um, I think this is fine. We drew a Wild Slash. They get to Surveil 1. So they're going to take the Wild Slash here. We are attacking for 4 next turn. All right, pass the turn. And if we draw anything powerful, that is something powerful. Um, I'm just going to plus this turn. We'll go ahead and move the combat. Attack. I'm just going to leave this Lanamore Elves in our hand, I think. I would love to play it if I could, but at the same time, I think this Teferi. Um, oh, there's a Nicobolus. Okay, so they do get the Land of More Elves out of our hand. Sure. So they are a pretty uh, potent uh, dragon deck here. Now the question is, do I do I bounce Nicobolus or do I bounce her? Oath of Nyssa. I think I bounce our Oath of Nyssa. Alright, we drew one half of the copycat combo. Alright, there's the other half. Alright, they're top low enough and they only have one card in hand where I feel like... No, we have to tap the blue here. And this actually didn't work out in our favor. This might have been a misplay on my part. I act uh, what I should have done, which I didn't see the line. I should have fell at our guardian bouncing the Teferi. And then made them uh made them have bolus. So that was actually that was actually a big misplay on my part. Um I guess sack the Lanamore Elves. They gain four life. All right, there's an Oko. I 
I guess this is correct. Yep, because there's the other land. That was timely. If they attack the fairy here, I probably just block with Gilded Goose. Yeah, we're looking for another land here for the. Uh... There's another Oko. So I create a food here, I play another Oko, I tick up, I guess I tick up here also. Oh, because the food just entered, okay. Misunderstood. Wow, okay, so the legendary rule still applies. So they're gonna get our Felidar Guardian here, but the legend rule still applies and they have to decide which uh, Nicobolus to keep. All right, and this is actually a good game. Yep, because I can just bounce it. All right, good game, opponent. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check out our awesome sponsor, Mana Traders. Uh, you can rent, buy, sell, trade cards on MTGO and also tabletop uh, magic events for major tournaments. Uh, they're an awesome card rental service, and for a small uh, subscription fee, you can rent from them. And you can rent any deck, and once you're done with the deck, you can uh, give it back to them. Check them out. Uh, you can use promo code CROCODILE to save 15% off your first three months when you sign up. Uh, it's an awesome service. I highly encourage recommending using it. Um, we are using it currently for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. For your custom play mats, mouse pads, and more, head over to Inked Gaming. Use promo code CROCODILEMTG10 to receive 10% off your order. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons.